Greed for property and frequent fights drove a 32-year-old woman to murder her 70-year-old mother-in-law at their residence in Chambers Pestam Sagar Colony in Mumbai. The deceased, identified as Sanjana Patil, was brought to Rajavadi Hospital with serious injuries, stating that she slipped and fell down in the bathroom on Monday evening. However, upon investigating the mysterious death, police discovered that Anjana Dinesh Patil, the wife of Sanjana's adopted son Dinesh Patil had killed her. The victim's husband passed away a few years ago. The couple had no children so she adopted Dinesh, the son of her husband's brother. She owned four flats, two in Chambur and two in Varli. She had rented out three flats and lived in the fourth one with her adopted son and his wife. Sanjana used to seek arms outside the Jain temple in the city's Ghatkopar locality despite earning money from renting out flats. On Monday evening, Sanjana was taken to Rajavadi Hospital. Her family claimed that she fell in the bathroom. However, the medics grew suspicious upon noticing around 14 injuries on Sanjana's body and stretch marks on her neck. Subsequently, they informed the police. Police initiated an investigation after registering a case of murder, according to a report by the Times of India. The accused daughter-in-law did not cooperate with the investigating officials during interrogation. Police got leads after her younger daughter told the officials that her mother and grandmother fought in the morning. An official told, the old lady used to beg and hide money anywhere in the house and ask Anjana which resulted in fights. The officials also found the deceased woman's gold jewelry in the accused daughter-in-law's inner wear. At around 3 p.m. on Monday, an altercation flared up between Anjana and Sanjana. Anjana got filled with rage and picked up a cricket bat and assaulted Sanjana several times. Later, she pulled out a string from Sanjana's inner wear and strangulated her as she did not die with the cricket bat. The string broke. She then used a mobile charger to strangulate her till she stopped breathing. Later, the accused confessed that she was fed up with frequent fights and wanted all four flats to be transferred in her name. Please subscribe to our channel to get the latest news updates.